everybody it's lady lid it's wash day y'all it's wash day and i know it's been a while since i've shared how i take care of my hair i just got this really amazing gift from this company so i'm about to try something new and i wanted to bring y'all along with me so we can see if this thing really works or not so y'all stick around while i get this hair untangled and get this hair dryer unboxed. I don't know how many of you have heard of this this hair dryer called Rev Air, but I'm telling you I have been seeing it on YouTube. I don't know how many of y'all watch uh, Deeper Than Hair. Oh, she's this super amazing professional hairdresser that does natural hair. And she broke out one of these and used it on her client. And I was just blown away. I thought this hair dryer was so amazing. I just had to try it out. So I reached out to the company and they actually sent me one. Y'all. I felt like it was Christmas. I felt like Christmas when this arrived. So I didn't want to wait. I want to show y'all what's in this box. And then we're going to actually use it today. So this is the box I got in the mail from them. So we're going to break it open. So immediately when you open this thing, you already see the company's awesome packaging. Alright. Got a really nice bag. I love all this stuff that it comes with. Definitely need this. Spray bottle so that I can keep my hair moist while it's waiting to dry. All right. Their packaging is so cute. I love it. Your Rev Air has arrived. Hello, beautiful. Ooh, so I'm imagining once I scan this here, it'll take me to some nice instructions because I got a feeling I'm going to need it. Prepare to be amazed. If shook is what you're going for, we've got you. All right, we'll see. All right. I love how it's got like this protection to keep dust out of the actual hair dryer. It says that this is the base. This is how I'm gonna control my tension level. This is the wand, <laughs> where the magic happens. I like it. And then I'm gonna definitely need this manual. There's a holes down there and we've got a wand rest. Okay, so I'm gonna get those items out. Oh yeah, instructions, quick guide. Oh yes. Y'all, look at y'all quick guys before y'all get started. I'm going to have to. All right. And those are the rest of the items. Mm 
This is the wand. I like how it's got its own little stocking on there. Keep the dust off. Let's go ahead and take the stocking off. Get a good look at you. Keep my little stocking. It looks like a stocking too for your feet. <laughs> the prop is. I don't want to run my stockings. <laughs> oh, it's already set up. Oh, okay, it's already got one set up. Awesome. Okay. right in there. Uh-oh, I got it the wrong way. There we go. That's probably better. The instruction says that this filter makes it so you don't have to clean this as often. All right, we got this little holder. Wand hooked up and I see that there's some connections that need to be made that match up with those right there. Right, let me make sure she has the lock on there. Okay. And then this is just the other end. And that's where the hose is connected. Again, there's some connections there. So I want to make sure I connect them there. And we're locked. So it's plugged in and ready to go. Here is the power. So once we turn this on, we'll be able to adjust the tension settings here. And then we can adjust temperature here. All right, so I'm gonna turn the power on back here. And as soon as I start setting my tension, it's going to come up. I'm going to set it to two, and then I'm going to use, and then I'm gonna use the low heat to begin with. Oof. I'm gonna just use, I'm gonna start with two, which is the tension. Might end up moving it higher, but I just wanna start and see. And then I'm gonna start with low heat, see how that goes. It says it's supposed to dry your hair within 30 to 90 seconds. <laughs> if it does that already, I'm so right. But let's see. So, let's see, where should we start? I think we'll start in the front since, you know, it's easier to see. All right, so I'm gonna re-dampen this because my hair is really like drying out. That's weird, really weird. It, does, it says it doesn't want your hair to be dripping, but you also don't want it to be already dry, which is what I've got going on. At least on the, the tips anyway. All right, let's move that back. This is my first time ever using this machine and y'all are witnessing it. So if something happened to me, y'all are gonna see it happen. I think my hair is supposed to go in there, right? All right, let's do it. Let's turn it on. Start with two. Okay. Please hair come out still on my head. It doesn't feel hot. 
I don't feel any heat whatsoever. It feels really cool. I do like that I feel some warmth. This no nowhere near as warm as a regular dryer though. I'm not sure is this fully dry. Yeah. This actually feels dry. Wow. Hmm. Okay, my hair is still on. doesn't look as straight as I would like it but also didn't have it at the highest tension either so let's let's keep going hmm. let's try a higher tension on this side let's move it up to four Side of my hair is so much longer than the other side. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's just hard to believe it's dry already. Okay, I'm satisfied with how dry this side is. And honestly, I'm not looking for a blowout type of deal cuz I'm not going to I'm not going to end up flat ironing this. I'm not going to wear this straight. Um so if you want it to be straighter, you might want to adjust the tension. Take it up another notch. 
Um, in fact, I'll test it on this next section. Um, but for me, this this is wonderful. It's been like the easiest hair drying session ever. Right now, my only complaint is like, where has this thing been my whole life? Where, where has this been? This has been one of those inventions that somebody told somebody else, oh, that's too crazy. Uh, no, this is perfect. This is perfect. You know, I could see myself wearing my hair blow dried uh, a lot more often. What blow drying does for me is just makes it so much more um, manageable. So it won't take me as long to to style it in the you know in the morning and get it put away at night. So all right, this is the piece we're gonna try a higher tension. And it says if you start feeling some tingling, that means it's probably too high. So I'm gonna be looking out for this tingling. And if I feel that, then I'm gonna turn it back down to four. Alright, it's on five. I actually don't feel anything. Like It's all right. I'm just amazed that I'm able to comb my hair right now. Definitely could use a trim. Definitely. For me, flat ironing just isn't realistic. And I'm just going to do some no heat twists. And that's going to give me the curl and the body that I want. Probably one on each side. And then I'll let that set. And that's pretty much it. I'll take it down. I'll move it around. I'll let y'all see. How about that? So to prepare for my twist, I'm going to use some oil. This is just a Princess Lids mixture of oils. By the way, if you like some, you can order it on our website. We have a few bottles left. I'll put the link in the description for you. Just a few drops. Keep my part together. Oh my goodness, just being able to comb my hair. I don't know how many of y'all can relate to that. Just being able to comb it is amazing. Now the trick to this, making it really work, is that your twists have to be really tight. I'm just going to do two strands. And basically this is gonna end up being like a Bantu knot. I want as much tension as I can get. So I wrap the end as tight as I can wrap it before I take it around. Gonna secure it like that. And I'll do the same thing over here. I got the Pippi Long stocking thing going on. And typically I will wear this overnight, cover it with either a bonnet or a scarf, and then I'd wait until tomorrow to take it down.
We'll see how it turns out. Might as well make use of this storage bag. This seems important. I want to keep it in here. I really felt like they thought of everything. It's a nice storage bag. Not only do they give you a bag that literally has the perfect amount of space for storing the dryer itself, they also gave you everything that you would even need to get ready to to, you know, prepare your hair and to style it. And I really love the fact that because of the low heat that this dryer requires, it's so much better for the hair. It's so much more gentle. It's so much more faster with less heat. It's the next day. Time for me to take this out so I can get ready for my day. We're going to see how the the you know, the blow dry process is holding up and we're gonna see how these no heat twists turned out. So let's get going. Ooh wee. <laughs> Liking the bounce. Trying not to disturb them too much. I'm trying to keep them just like this until I get to the end. And now I'm just stretching them as I go down rather than separating them. All right, I like it so far. All right, now what are we gonna do about these edges? First, we're gonna see if just brushing it will help. If that does it, then we're good to go. If not, we'll get just a little bit of gel popping. All right, my glasses are off, so I think right now this looks great, but I might put my glasses on and be like, uh-oh. <laughs> 